The topic for today is the effect of each factor on the position of equilibrium. The position of equilibrium of a chemical reaction can be affected by temperature, pressure for gaseous systems, and concentration. Effect of each factor on the position of equilibrium. Temperature, the effect of temperature on equilibrium depends on whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. If delta H is negative, the forward reaction is exothermic and the backward reaction is endothermic. If delta H is positive, the forward reaction is endothermic and the backward reaction is exothermic. In an exothermic reaction, low temperature favors the forward reaction as the equilibrium will shift so as to annul the cooling effect by releasing more heat and vice versa. Nitrogen plus oxygen to give nitrogen 2 oxide delta H equals to plus 90.4 kilojoule per mole. Lowering the temperature we shift equilibrium to the left favoring the backward reaction. Increasing the temperature we shift equilibrium to the right favoring the forward reaction. Effect of change in pressure. Pressure affects only gaseous reactants and products. The total number of moles of gaseous molecules on the left side of the equation must be different from the total number of moles of gaseous molecules on the right side. One mole of nitrogen plus three moles of hydrogen to give two moles of ammonia. Total number of moles on the left side, four moles of volumes. Total number of moles on the right side, two moles of volumes of ammonia. If a high pressure is applied, equilibrium will shift to the right, since the moles of the right side is less than the moles on the left side. If there is decrease in pressure, equilibrium will shift to the left. Effect of concentration. If the concentration of one side is increased, equilibrium will favor the opposite side. For the reaction, nitrogen plus hydrogen to give ammonia. More ammonia will be produced if the concentration of nitrogen and hydrogen is increased and the concentration of ammonia is decreased. Catalyst does not change the position of equilibrium. It only speeds up a reaction. Examples Number 1 2 molecules of CO plus 1 molecule of oxygen to give 2 molecules of carbon four oxide. In the reaction above, high pressure will favor the forward reaction because A. High pressure favors gas formation. B. The reaction is in dynamic equilibrium. C. The reaction is exothermic. D. The process occurs with a decrease in volume. Option A, B, and C cannot be the answer because pressure affects the system and exothermic nor endothermic reactions was not mentioned. Option D is the correct answer. The process occurs with a decrease in volume. This is because the number of molecules on the left supersedes the number of molecules on the right. Hence, equilibrium will favor the right. Number two, copper two oxide plus hydrogen to give copper plus water. What is the effect of increasing the pressure on the equilibrium reaction above? A. 
the equilibrium is shifted to the left. B. The equilibrium is shifted to the right. C. There is no effect. And D. More hydrogen is produced. The correct answer is option C. There is no effect. Since most of the reactants and the products are solids and liquid. Options A, B and D cannot be the answer since the compounds copper oxide, copper solid and water are not in the gaseous state. Example 3. The equilibrium of an endothermic reaction which proceeds with an increase in volume can be shifted in the reverse direction by A. Increasing the temperature and decreasing the pressure. B. Increasing the pressure and increasing the temperature. C. Decreasing the temperature and increasing the pressure. And D. Decreasing the pressure and decreasing the temperature. Option A cannot be the correct answer since the reverse reaction is exothermic reaction. Hence, a decrease in temperature is needed. Option B cannot be the correct answer for the same reason. A decrease in temperature is needed. Option D cannot be the correct answer because an increase in pressure is needed. Option C is the correct answer because the reverse is exothermic reaction. A decrease in temperature is needed. An increase in pressure is needed.